Okay, so it's that time again to see how I did last month for reading and to see what I plan on reading for this month. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get out my phone and I'm going to pull up my Goodreads app because on my Goodreads app I have a list of what I've read and what I'm reading and that kind of stuff and so that kind of helps me out. So since the last time that I met with you guys and told you about what I was going to read, I did finish Fruits Basket, Volume 1. I finished Asterisk the Mansions of the God. Um, I finished This Was Our Pact by Ryan Andrews. I finished Black Sad, Volume 1. Uh, I finished Year 1, A Penny Arcade Retrospective. I finished Two Brothers. Um, by Fabian Moon and Gabriel Ba. So that is one. Sorry, it's loading for a second. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six books that I read last month. Um, pretty much all graphic novels for my graphic novel class. It's definitely been taking a lot of my time. And there are others that I've read that I haven't necessarily like put down because. They're not necessarily the kind of books that you read all in one sitting, like a cookbook or whatever. Um, so I've not really put them down as read. What I'm still reading that I talked about last month is I'm still reading White Fragility. I'm still reading Inspired. I'm not making it very quickly through those because other things are catching my attention. Um, another book that I did read is uh, I did read... Uh, uh, Doom War, Black Panther Doom War from Marvel. I just recently put up a review of this book and a book talk about this book. Actually, I haven't done a review yet. I'm going to do that today, but I've done a book talk of that book. So let's talk about what I still have to read and what is sort of my priority for right now. So my graphic novel class is still going and I need to finish that up. So one of the things I'm reading right now is The Influencing Machine. Uh, so this is a graphic novel, and it's Brooke Gladstone on the media, illustrated by Josh Newfield. So Brooke Gladstone works for NPR, and she talks about the media and how the media is, you know, influences us to believe things or not believe things, where the media is doing a good job and where they're not doing a good job. Somewhat ironic that it's a media person doing that, but uh, so basically this book is a graphic history. It, in a lot of ways, it talks about you know historical events. And it talks about how the media has been good and bad in different areas of that. It talks about the main complaints that people have about the media and whether those are accurate or not. So I'm about halfway through this. I'll be finishing this relatively soon. I'll definitely be talking about this. This has been really good. Um, that's what I'm reading right now. Uh, still need to read, and I talked about this last time. Um, this is one of my last ones to read for my graphic novels class. My Brother's, my brother's Husband uh, by Gingoro Tagame. Uh, this is for my graphic novel class, translated from Japanese, but it's a, essentially a Japanese man who goes to Canada um, to, and, and to meet his, uh, his brother's husband. Uh, his brother's, yeah, his brother's husband, essentially. Um, I haven't read a lot of it, so I don't want to talk about it without knowing what I'm talking about too much. But um, that's what this one is. Definitely going to pick that one up and read that for my graphic novel class. Um, things I mentioned last time that I still need to try and read, um, these are for school, for teaching, um, and I will definitely read them before the students do, but it may be right before the students do. Um, so Funny and Farsi, I uh, still need to get that one done, and Things Fall Apart, uh, definitely working on those. So let's talk about, if I get a chance to read something I want to, that's not for my graphic novel class and not for um, teaching, what will those things be? Well, probably the first things I'll read will be these graphic novels that my friend lent me along with that Do More graphic novel. So that's going to be Black Panther Wild Kingdom, uh, The New Fantastic Four, Black Panther Civil War, and Fantastic Four Cosmic Threats. Those are quick reads. I can usually read one of those in maybe an hour or something like that. Um, I just have to have an hour where I can read. Um, and then the other two things that I really want to read if I get a chance. Um, and so, you know, TBR is a goal. If I don't get all these done, I don't get all these done. Um, but I definitely want to read 
Um, Alicia Keys memoir, More Myself. I talked about this last time. I love Alicia Keys. I'm super excited about this. It's called A Journey, not a memoir, but it's, you know, kind of memoirish. Uh, with some biographical stuff. I read like the first chapter one day and loved it. And then I was just like, I really need to read stuff I need to read. So I put it back down. Um, my dog sees a squirrel. Uh, and then the other uh, one that I really want to get to is uh, Nick Stone's book, Shuri. Uh, definitely tons of stuff to love here. Nick Stone and Shuri definitely want to be on top of it. So the thing about these TBR videos is there's going to be some overlap sometimes, right? Because um, we don't get everything we want to read, so we just keep trying to put it on the list to read, and uh, and we go for it. We do the best we can. Uh, so that's my goal for the you know j going into August to finish in August, and we'll see what happens because we'll also be starting school back up. So I hope you guys have a great day and uh, find a good book and pick it up.